my dear children welcome to the business studies class today in this session we are going to study a new chapter that is internal trade trade is the nucleus of commerce trade refers to buying and selling of goods and services with the objective of earning profit mankind has been engaged in trading in some form or other form since early days of civilization the importance of trade in modern times has increased as new products are being developed every day and they are being developed every day and are being made available for consumption throughout the world no individual can claim to be self sufficient in producing all the goods and services required by it each one is engaged in producing what it is best suited to produce and exchanging the excess produce with others on the basis of geographical location buyers of sellers trade can be classified into two they are internal trade and external trade the trade which takes place within the country is called internal trade trade between two or more countries on the other hand is called external trade now we are going to study the term internal trade in detail internal trade means uh, domestic trade internal trade refers to all those trading activities which involve sale or exchange of goods and services within the geographical boundaries of a nation in such a trade both the buyer and sellers are residents of the same country for instance sale of goods by a merchant from delhi to a merchant from agra is internal trade internal trade may take place between states or between towns of the same state or between mer merchants from the same town internal trade can be classified into two they are wholesale trade and retail trade internal trade means buying and selling of goods and services within the boundaries of the nation it is referred to as internal trade whether the products are purchased from a neighborhood shop in a locality or a central market or a departmental store or a mall or even from an any any door to door sales person or from an exhibition all these are examples of internal trade no customs duty or import duty is levied on such trade as goods are part of the domestic production and are meant for the domestic consumption generally payment has to be made in the legal tender of the country or any other acceptable currency internal trade can be classified into two they are wholesale trade and retail trade generally for products which are to be distributed to a large number of buyers who are located over a wide geographical area it becomes very difficult for the producers to reach all the consumers or the users directly for example if the vegetable soil or bathing soap or salt produced in a factory in any part of the country are to be much millions of consumers throughout the country the help of the wholesalers and re retailers becomes very important the purchase and sale of goods and services in a large quantities for the purpose of resale or intermediate use is referred to as wholesale trade the purchase and sale of goods in relatively small quantities generally to the ultimate consumers is referred to as retail trade traders dealing in wholesale trade are dealing in retail are called retailers both retailers and wholesalers are important marketing intermediaries who perform very useful functions in the process of exchange of goods and services between the producers and the users or ultimate consumers 
the aim of the internal trade is to equitable distribution of goods within a nation speedily and at reasonable cost